Okay, so hi everyone, I'm Aisha Angraini. I am a front end engineer at Vicky. And I used CodePen quite a lot before. Uh, don't get to use it much now because of like general dizziness. But I remember when I was very young and like jobless. I remember that I used coat pen to fish for loves. And when people like my pen, I'm, ju I'm just generally happy, you know? And I get to a point where I get really good at it and I know exactly how to manipulate, in a way, manipulate the users. So the thing about fishing for loves, right? First thing you need to know is you need to know who you're fishing the love, who, they, who are they, right? So in this case, it is the audience of CodePen. And I think if you are, it's not hard to know the characteristics of CodePen users, if you're a user yourself. Basically to me, from my point of view, the user at CodePen loves to use CodePen in order to explore, to experiment, to learn, and to just generally get inspired. The second thing you need to know is the first thing you need to do for people to love your pen is to get them to click on it. And for me, it's like these three things that you need to have. The well, not really you need to, but it's helpful if you know. The first is title. So get your title really specific. It has to be as specific as possible. The second is the author. So if you happen to be someone as famous as Chris Coyer, I think you will have no problem fishing for likes. And the third one is, and I think this is the most important factor, is how beautiful is your pen? You know, when, when your pen is beautiful, your thumbnail is beautiful, it's easy to get people to click on it and get them to like it. So with all of these information in mind, I managed to formulate like four steps you need to do in order to build a successful pen. The first thing you need to do is get inspired and give credit where credit is due. So let me talk to you about one of my popular code pen. I think this got about like, I can't remember how much likes I did. I think this is one about 97 likes. So um, I got this idea. This is actually a, a Hobart effect using a pure CSS. And I actually got the idea from a guy called Sotanaka. Sotanaka is one of my front end heroes, I think about four to five years ago. And uh, I saw this effect from him and I decided to emulate it. So there's another one is uh, this also gets about I can't remember how many likes, 282 likes. And um, I got it from a dribble shot. You can actually just visit the dribble shot there. I have it there. And the third one is, which I think one of my most favorite pen, like people like it so much, is 467. I got this from a site called uh, Chemical. Chemical is a site by uh, Paul Kelly, who's a, who's a creative director. So basically, my point is, there's nothing original about my pen, nothing at all. The idea is not original, and I don't feel bad about it. Because, <laughs> because like Pablo Picasso said, good artists borrow, great artists steal, right? This is a real quote by Pablo Picasso. If you want to judge me for it, whatever, you're not Pablo Picasso. So, uh, so, uh, so basically, the only difference when it comes to this pen and their original author's pen is the implementation. This was written about four to five years ago, I can't remember. And so Tanaka and Paul Kelly had written their version with jQuery. I had adapted purely with pure CSS. So basically, the idea is the same. The, the implementation is different. Which brings me to my second point. In order to build a good pen, focus on a concept you want to get through. Because remember, one of the characteristics of your audience is they want to learn, all right? They want to get inspired. So in my case, at that time, I noticed that animation uh, is not really, when people were writing their animation, usually use jQuery a lot. So pure CSS animation at that, at that time was still sparse. And that's what I want to get. I want to experiment with that, basically for my own learning purpose, and just um, play around with it, right? And uh, so yeah, basically focus on the features that you want to you know, learn. In, in our case, like now, I think Huijin mentioned CSS grids. Maybe you can do something with that. Thirdly is making your, co making your code pen pretty. So one of the things that you notice is when you have pretty thumbnails, people would want to click on it more. So in my case, it's, 
it's a no-brainer. I'm not a designer, by the way. I'm actually just a front-end engineer, and I don't really design, but I do have basically a sense of design. So when it comes to making my code pen pretty, I just focus on two things, and that is typography and color scheme. So when it comes to color scheme, I just go to Dribble, look at all of those pretty shots, just copy their color scheme. You know, you, you notice that there's a palette right next to Dribble. Just take that one and just you know, but no one will know, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All of the secrets are out. And the fourth, the fourth one, the final one, is get a hero. So my hero is Liavaru, and previously was Sotanaka. I, I think the way they create their work, I, I'm kind of inspired by that, and that makes me want to explore more CSS features. Getting a hero is important. If you're not, if you're not inspired, then I don't think so you can create interesting things, I guess. And yeah, that's it for me. That, that, that is fourth step to creating a successful pen, a pen. So the first one is getting inspired and giving credit where it is due, because I always credit where I got it from. Second is focus on a particular C CSS feature. Third, make it pretty. And fourth, <coughs> get a hero. So there's another thing that you need to know. We mentioned, I think, the first speaker mentioned about uh, CodePen Pro. Recently, I think I, was, uh, I saw a feature that says, if you're a pro member, you will get priority to be placed on the pick section. So getting placed in a pick section is very important as well in terms of fishing for likes. So if you're not yet a Codepen Pro and you still want to fish for loves, be a Codepen Pro. <laughs> okay, that's, that's it for me. Yeah. Now that was great. Questions? Anyone want to know how to get love from likes? <laughs> Maybe related to Copan? Uh, why do you have 900 set up then? Sorry? Why do you have 900 set up then? You touched oh, a nerve. I just did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I just did, you know. <laughs> I don't really have a reason. You just <laughs> irritated all the OCD people yeah, in the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and now, uh, our next speaker, if any of you actually